way we're supposed to live in community with uh, each other. And the people who've gone on cruises and the, they never knew each other on the first cruise, all of a sudden, like, they're going on vacations together, you know, and, and they've gotten to know each other and forge friendships. That's the magic of the whole thing for me. So have a great week. Let me just say just a couple of things that, Ch that, that uh, Chaz didn't mention. He wanted me to say it. We've got four very, very special people and their families on this cruise. We have four wounded warriors that have fought for our country. I have not seen. 
ever. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm really feeling good about it, boys. Yeah. Number. Uh, this has got to be six. Is it six? Yeah. Owen is so excited. He can hardly stay. Six. All right. Stay right there. You're trying to get just your three girls, your three uh, ladies, to say this. Everyone else, no cheating. Okay? Does anyone understand? I have a 60 seconds on the timer. All right, when you're ready, go.
kids, two of whom are mine, and, a, and an additional cousin, and a mom, and a stepdad, and 19 suitcases, and it was just frenzied and crazy. You know that first, like, 24 hours, just crazy. And I was slipping through the schedule, okay, so, so this night is Philip's Greg and Dean, and okay, and this night it looks like um, Scott Hamilton and Michael B. Smith, okay. And then I said these words to my mother. I don't know, at some point there's this lady named Tracy Arm Fjord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to make sure we can see that. Hanging out with Tracy yesterday. I felt small. I felt just so in awe of what God has done in his creation. And, and as I went to sleep last night, I thought, you know what? I shouldn't feel diminished because... He says, after I made the glacier, and after I carved out that fjord, and after I sculpted those humpback whales, I made you. And I called you, man and woman, the crown of my creation. I did this for you. What if you're right? He was just another nice guy. What if you're right? If it's true, they say the cross will only make a fool of you. And what if it's true? What if he takes his place in history with all the prophets and the kings who taught us love and came in peace? And then the story ends. What then?